Hi, Kat Chancellor here with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And you may recall the previous video on my mom's 90th birthday. It was a double open showstopper card. Well, I'm back because I want to show you how I put together that same card using the perennial lavender suite and some other extra products. I'm also going to show you how to put together the envelope bag. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to make this card and I think I may change it up a little bit, but you're going to need the painted lavender set and that also includes the Thoughtful Expressions bundle that has these wonderful dyes in it. So I'm using that. I've already done some work where I have used Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. I'm also using Pretty Peacock and I'm using the stamps for the Painted Lavender here as well as these single stock stamps. And what's interesting here is in using like I took some uh, Highland Heather and stamped that first piece and then I have the Gorgeous Grape kind of on top of it. So I kind of have these these pieces. I'm going to have two each with as well as some of these pieces and I think this other piece here is Lost Lagoon. So these are all the colors that are in the DSP. It's kind of where I kind of go to get my my color palette for what's in the DSP. Okay, so this is the stamp set I'm using. And then they do have some lovely dies there that I cut out the stalks as well as the the leaves and then some other nice nice little stalks. And I may cut out some more as I get into the assembly of our little of our little side bouquet here. But I am going to use my medallions here from my Thoughtful Expressions. Let me just pull these out, put them back here. And these are all those wonderful nesting pieces. So I'm going to use those. Now, I also have some vellum. I may use some vellum. Now this love is part of this Spring of Love dies that was a special, it was a special offer. So we're gonna use that and I'm also going to be using one of these pieces of foam that we're going to cut that on. Now, the bu but paper butterfly accents, again, I'm going to be using, using that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. Uh, I do have a, a embossing folder that I may use as well. So here's our base card. We already cut that. I will have a PDF with all the dimensions for how you create the folding mechanism, but the actual instructions are on my blog, the Mom's 90th Birthday Double Open Showstopper card. That will uh, that video will give you the uh, show you how it's put together. I'm also using two different patterns for this card. I'm using a, a deep, bright color pattern for the front of the card. The the front panels that are going to show when the card is closed and then I'm using a more delicate pattern for the pieces that are going to be on the inside of the card that you'll see when the card opens up. Now I really like the way this holographic trio paper plays against the, the lavender color and all those dimensions again will be on the PDF.
we've done all of our pieces and parts and that is how our card is going to fold up. So now we need to cut our center medallion. I'm going to cut my center medallion frame using my layering dies and I'm using the holographic trio paper. I'm going to just cut a piece that's large enough to fit that largest die. I'm going to hold it in place with some, with some green tape and then I'm going to run that through my stamp emboss machine. I'm then going to grab two pieces of basic white cardstock and I'm going to cut two layers of medallion using that largest of the two layering medallions because that's going to see that's going to create the base where we're going to apply our frame. I'm then taking the next size down and that is going to be cut out of vellum and then the other two smaller sizes are going to be the two pieces that are going to have the sentiments on the inside of the card. I've taken two of these cut with the largest cut with the largest. I layered I layered these two and we got our outside piece. And then I took the next layer and I cut that next size out of vellum and then these the smaller one I cut two pieces there. So so let's go ahead and assemble all the layers of the medallion. To cut out the sentiment for the front of our medallion, I'm using the Love of Spring die, a piece of foam adhesive sheet, and some foil from the Holographic Trio. For the butterfly, I've selected the smaller of the two sizes and I'm going to place it on just a piece of scrap paper. The colors I'm using are Highland Heather Fresh Freesia and Blackberry Bliss along with Bubble Bath. I'm going to apply some Bubble Bath all the way from the base fly all the way to the top. I'm then going to blend a little bit of the wing with some of light fresh freesia. Here I'm using the dark fresh freesia along the base of the butterfly and then along the edge of the wings. And then finally the darkest color which is our Blackberry Bliss. This is the light Blackberry Bliss and I just kind of want to add that along the edge. And then I'm going to use my dark fresh freesia to kind of blend, blend that together with the rest of the colors. And as you can see that creates kind of a, a nice blended image for our butterfly. And lastly I'm taking the dark Blackberry Bliss and I'm just kind of highlighting along the edge to kind of pull that dark color that you see in the paper. To give my butterfly the effect of having glossomer wings, I'm adding some Galaxy Glitter by Deco Art in the color Clear Ice Comet just along the edges. Now to apply my layers for my medallion, I'm using glue dots on the vellum 
and I place the glue dots behind the lettering and they really kind of they kind of disappear and you can't really see them. I'm also going to place the medallion itself on some dimensionals there on that center panel. Okay, to build your center bouquet, I started out with the large stamped image of the lavender flowers and I just glued those on behind the medallion in kind of a diagonal. And then I added the lighter of the two green sprigs in Lost Lagoon and then on top of that I layered the pretty peacock sprigs. And then I saved the single sprigs of lavender. I saved those for last and I'm going to layer those using dimensionals. And finally I'm going to add the remaining pieces of Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape sprigs that I'm just going to kind of add in as well. For my sentiments, I'm using stamps from the perennial postage and the thoughtful expression that are going to go on either side of my card. Finally, I'm going to add some embellishments with the iridescent rhinestones just to kind of give it some added bling. So the final dimensions of our card is 6 by 10 inches. So now to build our bag, our envelope bag, you're going to need two pieces of any cardstock or DSP of your choice. They should measure 8 inches by 12 inches. Here I'm using some paper from Celebrations that is in a nice cream and gold pattern. So using your scoreboard along the 12 inch side, you're going to score at 1 inch and at 11 and a half inches. Then turn it to the 8 inch side and score at 7 inches. Now my PDF will give you the pattern for how to score and cut these, but you're going to cut a notch on the half inch side and you're simply going to score cut a flap on the one inch side and then you're going to miter, miter the edges. 
So there's the half inch side. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a notch and then miter the two edges. And then on the one inch side, I'm going to just cut a flap and then miter one of the edges. And that is basically the bottom of your envelope. Now for this particular envelope bag, I want to create an acetate window that when you slip the card in, you will begin, you'll be able to see the medallion. So I'm just kind of measuring from the top to the middle because what I want to do before I assemble my envelope bag is I want to cut out a circle using my circle cutter so that I can create that circle window. I don't have a die that's large enough to frame the medallion, so I'm going to have to do it myself. So I'm just going to begin by measuring about one inch from the sides and from the bottom. I want to make sure that for the top I have plenty of room for the grommet I'm going to add so uh, that fits as well with about one inch. Then I'm using a circle cutter here that I have and I'm just going to try to kind of sort out the size and get my mat and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a circle. Now this circle wasn't large enough so I just kind of had to go a little bit larger and it worked well enough but I think I probably would want to do it a little different next time. If you have a die large enough then then that's fine but as you can see it did it did work. I And then I added a piece of acetate. I cut the window sheet about seven inches to six inches and the diameter of that circle is about five inches wide. I'm then just going to go ahead and add some tear tape and apply my my acetate. To assemble, lay both sides facing front and that is the half inch side and glue that to the one inch side, then flip it over, add glue again to that half inch flap, and then glue that to the one inch flap, and that will create your sides. And then you go ahead and create your bottom folds, glue your bottom folds to create the bottom. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I slip the, the card inside. I think it looks lovely. It's a little bit kind of off, so I went ahead and I put together just some little sprigs that I'm going to go ahead and put right there. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the same ribbon for the top of my little envelope bag. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to put together the rest of the the bag. Now to add the ribbon I am going to use grommets and I have a grommet maker and a box full of grommets that I'm going to apply to the top of our bag. But first I'm going to measure three and a half inches from one edge and three and a half inches from the other edge which is where I'm going to mark so that I can cut punch the holes with the hole punch portion of the grommet maker and then I'm going to apply my grommets and in this case I think I'm just going to add some gold ones right there and that just makes the project just all that much more special and it makes sure that your ribbon will slide in easily.
Now I've cut the ribbon about about 10 inches long and I'm going to use a hot glue gun to attach the back of the ribbon to the inside the bottom of the ribbon to the inside of the bag and that will keep the ribbon secure and I'm going to do that on both sides. And then for the final touch to embellish the outside of the bag, I'm just adding a little sprig I made up with Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and a piece of the Holographic Trio paper tied with a nice ribbon. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that nicely to the, back, to the front of my bag. And I think that kind of balances it because the the circle was a little bit, a little bit off, wasn't quite centered, but I think that that balances it perfectly. So there's our card. You can always add sentiment on the back, much like we did with the other card that I did. So I really hope that you've you've enjoyed this project. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit like. All products are available on my online store. There will be a link below. Please go to my blog also for project details. If you're looking for a demonstrator, please consider joining my team. Consider joining as a hobbyist for only $99 and enjoy a 20% discount, especially because we will have the new annual catalog coming out soon, and that will give you just an extra added bonus to any of your purchases. If you are a demo and you like my content, please support my channel by hitting like, share, and leave a comment. This is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Happy stamping.